Now that I've applied my CSS reset to the page, I'm going to start editing the type. Uh, I want to figure out all the typography for my page. And probably my first consideration is always font family. What style of font do I want to use on my page? So for me, I don't really see any other choice for, for an entire site for the majority of the content. I don't think there's any other choice between a serif and a sans serif font. Now, uh, serif versus sans serif uh, refers to the ornamentation at the end of the letter. I, just pulled, I googled serif versus sans serif and I came up with this article that gives a, a bit of a of a brief on it and some of the pluses or minuses of using one over the other and if you see right here you see that the serif has ornamentation at the end of it whereas sans serif does not so an example of a serif font is like Times New Roman has you know the serifs and sans serif like is like Helvetica would be would be one um, which one do you use well there's 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 a debate so I can't say it's definitely an opinion and even whether you like one over the other different situations call for different fonts I've heard in the past people say that sans serif is better for the web and serifs are better for print uh, the argument there is that because when you're looking on on the computer screen lights being sent to your eyes so by using the sans serif font uh, it's it, it tires the eyes less than using a serif font online, right? Because the lights constantly come into your eyes and it's very bright. The reason why the printed page, uh, the serif is better, is because um, your the, the way you see the the type on a page on a printed page is from the ambient light, you know, hitting your page and then those light molecules bouncing off into your eyes so um, because the light var variance could be different than like a backlit display it's it's easier to, to distinguish the uh, the characters now this is what I've heard and it, it's certainly not uh, f a fact or like you know something that's been proven by case studies the, if you if you Google uh, serif versus sans serif for the web or serif versus sans serif readability, uh, there's there's so much if you could spell it right. There's there's so much information out there that if this is something that's of major concern to you, you sh there's plenty of places to look for more information. Um, for me right now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go for uh, a, a sans serif font for my document. So first thing I'm going to start off with is I'm just going to put a comment in my CSS that this is my typography section and I'm going to start by putting the body tag and in there I'm going to choose font family and now I should get my list of options and I'll choose the Helvetica Arial option. Now in in here this is known as a font stack and you could actually add a bit more to it and really what it is is this first one is looking for a specific font right where the next one is looking for an alternative to this specific font this is looking for a system I think it's like a system wide one and this is more generic um, if you again if you google font stack you'll see exactly what these things mean and you'll get a lot of information on how to really uh, make sure that you're getting the look you want across all browsers and platforms right I mean because there's three basically operating system platforms there's Windows being the most popular Macintosh being the second and the least popular being uh, Linux and different variations of that you'd say like Unix and BSD and and things that are, are not very popular um, 
And you can see that the font stack actually, here we go, exactly what I said. You have the exact font, the nearest alternative, the platform-wide alternative, platform meaning your operating system, universal, maybe like, you know, Arial would probably likely be a universal, and a generic, and in at least in my case, the generic one that I have is sans serif. So that's essentially the major consideration with regards to the font family. Uh, actually, probably one question I've received before is, why do we put the font family in the body instead of in the HTML tag? Um, and that's because my understanding is that HTML is a non-rendered element in some browsers. Like, it's not going to render certain things. So uh, it's always a good practice to put it in the body specifically.